Two decades ago, Kashmiri houseboat owners rubbed their hands every spring at the prospect of the annual influx of tourists. From May to October, the hyacinth choked waters of Dal Lake saw flotillas of vividly painted shikaras carrying Indian families, boho westerners, young travelers, and wide eyed Japanese. Carpet sellers honed their skills, as did purveyors of anything remotely embroidered, while the houseboats initiated by the British Raj provided unusual accommodation. Then, in 1989, separatist and Islamist militancy attacked and everything changed. Hindus and countless Kashmiri business people bolted, at least 35,000 people were killed in a decade, the lake stagnated, and the houseboats rotted. Any foreigners venturing there risked their lives, proved in 1995 when five young Europeans were kidnapped and murdered. Two decades ago, Kashmiri houseboat owners rubbed their hands every spring at the prospect of the annual influx of tourists. From May to October, the hyacinth choked waters of Dal Lake saw flotillas of vividly painted shikaras carrying Indian families, boho westerners, young travelers, and wide eyed Japanese. Carpet sellers honed their skills, as did purveyors of anything remotely embroidered, while the houseboats initiated by the British Raj provided unusual accommodation. Then, in 1989, separatist and Islamist militancy attacked and everything changed. Hindus and countless Kashmiri business people bolted, at least 35,000 people were killed in a decade, the lake stagnated, and the houseboats rotted. Any foreigners venturing there risked their lives, proved in 1995 when five young Europeans were kidnapped and murdered. So between 4000 and 3000 BC the Mesopotamian Sumerian cultures do not practice any kind of burial. And then, about 3000, in the early dynastic period, these burials start to reappear, and they reappear with a certain amount of conspicuous consumption, and this is the context for the royal burials at Ur. Okay, so, the royal cemetery consists of quite a number of pits, so these are the excavation workers who are coming down into the pits. So you get some sense of how really deep and how really difficult it was to construct these chambers. So between 4000 and 3000 BC the Mesopotamian Sumerian cultures do not practice any kind of burial. And then, about 3000, in the early dynastic period, these burials start to reappear, and they reappear with a certain amount of conspicuous consumption, and this is the context for the royal burials at Ur. Okay, so, the royal cemetery consists of quite a number of pits, so these are the excavation workers who are coming down into the pits. So you get some sense of how really deep and how really difficult it was to construct these chambers. Green chemistry is a concept designed to develop technologies which allow chemistry to be practiced with minimal damage to the environment or in an environmentally compatible way. And it's meant to cover both chemical processes and chemical products. The center, if you would, set up about seven or eight years ago, and the idea was to provide a hub of activities that covered fundamental research work, industrial collaboration, but also educational developments. So we work with schools and on public projects as well, and also networking. So we network out to well over 1,000 people around the globe. Green chemistry is a concept designed to develop technologies which allow chemistry to be practiced with minimal damage to the environment or in an environmentally compatible way. And it's meant to cover both chemical processes and chemical products. The center, if you would, set up about seven or eight years ago and the idea was to provide a hub of activities that covered fundamental research work, industrial collaboration, but also educational developments. So we work with schools and on public projects as well, and also networking. So we network out to well over 1,000 people around the globe. The thing that makes it difficult is because even if life had evolved on Mars, the chances of it being preserved are very small. If we use Earth as a reference and, and our planet is, is teeming with life, yet it, it rarely preserves evidence of life in the fossil record.
And the focus now is on exploring for uh, habitable environments. You're looking for water, a source of energy, either solar energy or thermal energy or chemical energy, and, and then organic carbon, assuming life as we know it on Earth, based on carbon. So those, those are sort of the three things that we're looking for in the course of our mission. The thing that makes it difficult is because even if life had evolved on Mars, the chances of it being preserved are very small. If we use Earth as a reference and, and our planet is, is teeming with life, yet it, it rarely preserves evidence of life in the fossil record. And the focus now is on exploring for uh, habitable environments. You're looking for water, a source of energy, either solar energy or thermal energy or chemical energy. And, and then organic carbon, assuming life as we know it on Earth, based on carbon. So those, those are sort of the three things that we're looking for in the course of our mission. In this tutorial, we will show you how to find specific journal articles using the library catalogue. The university subscribes to over 18,000 journals across a variety of subjects most of which are available electronically. To find a specific journal article using the library catalogue, we need to search by the journal name as individual article titles are not listed in the catalogue. In this tutorial, we will show you how to find specific journal articles using the library catalogue. The university subscribes to over 18,000 journals across a variety of subjects, most of which are available electronically. To find a specific journal article using the library catalogue, we need to search by the journal name as individual article titles are not listed in the catalogue. Belief is the human capacity to imagine, to be creative, to hope and dream, to infuse the world with meanings, and to cast our aspirations far and wide, limited neither by personal experience nor material reality. Believing is a commitment, an investment, a devotion to possibilities. Beliefs permeate neurobiologies, bodies, and ecologies, acting as dynamic agents in evolutionary processes. The human capacity for belief, the specifics of belief, and our, diverse, and our diverse belief systems shape, structure, and alter our daily lives, our societies, and the world around us. Belief is the human capacity to imagine, to be creative, to hope and dream, to infuse the world with meanings, and to cast our aspirations far and wide, limited neither by personal experience nor material reality. Believing is a commitment, an investment, a devotion to possibilities. Beliefs permeate neurobiologies, bodies, and ecologies, acting as dynamic agents in evolutionary processes. The human capacity for belief, the specifics of belief, and our diverse, and our diverse belief systems shape, structure, and alter our daily lives, our societies, and the world around us. Also, malaria is something that is a very complex disease with this complex life cycle. That means that if you're going to eliminate it, you have to be able to target cute parasites and humans. You have to be able to target parasites in the mosquitoes, that mosquito population. And so that requires a lot of resources. It requires really good planning and a health system across all these different levels. And so I think the political capital that you need for that, the educational infrastructure you need for that, the economic resources you need for that are quite a challenge. Also, malaria is something that is a very complex disease with this complex life cycle. That means that if you're going to eliminate it, you have to be able to target cute parasites and humans. You have to be able to target parasites in the mosquitoes, that mosquito population. And so that requires a lot of resources. It requires really good planning and a health system across all these different levels. And so I think the political capital that you need for that, the educational infrastructure you need for that, the economic resources you need for that are quite a challenge.